But tell me, just what is it that you want to do? Well, we want to be free. We want to be free to, to do what we want to do. We want to be free to ride. We want to be free to ride our machines without being hassled by the man. And we want to get loaded. And we want to have a good time. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a party. Welcome to another shit show on the Biker's Lifestyle Podcast with your host, Dirty and Tank. You go to take another drink and it's like fucking hot beer. It's like, ugh. Oh, well, I mean, I think what his trick is, is he'll drink it and he just holds on to that motherfucker for a half an hour. Oh, yeah. Like he'll hold on to that empty fucking beer can or fucking whatever because it's true. It works for him, though. It's true. Saves a bunch of money. I've never really seen him that fucked up unless we start feeding him shots on his 40th birthday. I was going to say, we, yeah, we, <laughs> yeah. That, that went, that went to shit quick. But. Yeah, we tied a tampon into his hair. Yeah. <laughs> With hot sauce on it. He was projectile vomiting and fucking having his fucking yeah. bathroom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, yeah. It, was good, it was a good time. Though. Oh, good time. Good yeah. time. <laughs> How the hell are you, Hammer? Not too bad. Under yeah. circum circumstances that's been going on, it's been a shit fucking year, hasn't it? It's, it's, tell you me know, it's it. just been a shit fucking year. And the last two two weeks, two weeks yeah. It's, yeah. it's it's gone straight to sh- fucking hell in a handbasket. Wow. Well, I mean, to sum up, we had two club brothers and an old lady go down in an accident on our biggest ride of the year for the club. Mm-hmm. Next day, we had a big club benefactor. She died. And then uh, we find another club brother's got uh, some issues. He's going to have to have surgery, and it's pretty big. Yep. And then uh, now we find one of the greatest bikers I ever knew fucking just died. Yep. Yeah. Just, just died. And yeah. Uh, you know, I'm floored. I mean, we we did that other podcast, and Dirty sat out because he really didn't think he was in a mental state to be able to do it. And oh, when you're all hopped up on fucking pain meds. With- Broken everything, brother. That might be the that might be the best time to do it. You know, I don't know. No, no, All the no. drugs are good. You know. <laughs> well, the problem is my accident turned into a criminal investigation. You know, because the other party that was involved is uh, really, really negligent, and uh, yeah, it wasn't quite an accident. But you know, maybe someday we'll be able to talk about it. But right now, not right now. You know, I mean, yeah. not right now it's yeah, it needs, gotta, it needs to be adjudicated. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On it's, that note, yeah. don't be a cunt when you see a big ass fucking ride going through. Well, it's yeah, pretty much, man. That's let's just say it was it, up. it was very similar to the things that happened in the upper half of the state. Yeah, weeks beforehand. Let's just put it that way. Oh, are that yeah. The last podcast I was on. Yeah, if you, yeah. If you go back, yeah. listen to the what was it number 22? twenty two? Uh, twenty. 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 Yeah, because yep. Chelsea was twenty one. Yeah, yeah, number 20 with Hammer. Yeah, we talked about a thing that happened. And well, this is kind of somewhat similar with, obviously, you know, nobody died, but I don't know. It's it's a fucked up fucking world that we're living in where people are fucking targeting fucking bikers now, apparently, because, you know. Well, I, I told you what happened to me Saturday night coming back from the funeral. Yeah. yeah. I'm 100, 100 yards, 150. I live on a two-lane highway in Wisconsin, and I'm fucking 100 yards from my house, man. Starting to slow down. I see a car coming the other direction. Half his car was over in my lane coming right at me. I look up and it happened like that. Yeah. You know, unreal. Well, that, that's kind of like uh, the the biker that we just lost recently uh, Sunday was him and I. We were coming, leaving uh, the next town over, coming yeah. this way. And, uh, yeah, we had a, a set of stoplights coming out of that town, and so we are stopped. Our side was red. Our side turns green. The car coming off the side road turns, started to turn out as we were pulling forward. So me being me, we got over, but I kind of let my whip kind of touch their vehicle a couple times going by them. <laughs> yeah, well, that's part of the reason why we have those on there, you know. 
But yeah, I mean, and then staring, you know, as I'm passing by, I'm literally looking at them two feet away. Like, their window to my fucking face, like, as I'm by, going by. But yeah, they didn't, I was expecting to have a confrontation a- after that, but they just got to the next road and turned off. You know, I, th- I think that there's a, a common misperception from a lot of people that are in cages. And, you know, when they get in traffic and then you got the biker and then they see the biker that's like coming up around them to pass him. And they're like, oh, he's out there hot dogging around. No, he's either going to stay fucking back off of you or he's going to get up in front of you going about five miles an hour faster than you. And he wants to scoot right on by because sitting next to you, you're going to fucking kill him because you don't see him. Yep. Because you're too busy looking on your fucking phone and your GPS or listen, doing everything but fucking driving. And they don't realize that a lot of the shit that we do, I mean, yeah, we stop up, you know, lights and stop signs to let groups through. Not because we want to be assholes, because we want to keep the group safe. Yep. You know, it's all about safety out there. Group safe, all we, everybody together. Well, it's just, you know, when you're on a fucking motorcycle, you're exposed to every sort of bad fucking thing that could actually happen. You know, you get into a fender bender with a car. Cars nowadays are like these, you know, they got airbags all over the fucking place, crumple zones, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. On a motorcycle, it's just fucking you. You know, I got a broken collarbone, three broken ribs, bruised fucking lung. And that accident, I think I was doing 20, 20 miles an hour when I went down. You know, if I was doing 20 miles an hour in a fucking car, I wouldn't even, I probably had a fucking scratch. Yeah. You know, and they wonder, well, why do you get so defensive? Why are you so adamant about nobody texting or nobody fucking doing stupid shit in the car next to you? Well, because you could fucking literally kill me, you son of a bitch. Yeah, because I'm a grandfather. I'm a father. I'm a yeah. husband. I've got family and friends. I mean, we were doing a fucking... We're fucking human beings, assholes. Well, and, you know, you get, oh, well, you know, you're the one. Why don't you wear all the proper gear and blah, 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 because... It, you're still a fucking squishy human being underneath whatever fucking protective fucking layer you want to fucking throw in there. Well, you know, you could wear the fuck. You could be out there in a bomb suit and somebody will still fight a bright fucking mm-hmm. fluorescent fucking green bomb suit going down the road on a bike. And some fucking jag off is still going to cut you yeah, off. That's right. Still not going to look in their blind spot. Still not going to turn their head. They're just going to fucking come right over. Well, yeah. and let's talk about some of that gear, too. Um. I know this a lot of this through Abate. Uh, the, the standards for for a, a helmet, you get a DOT standard for a standard helmet, a regular helmet. You can buy one for you can pay forty dollars for a helmet. You can pay four hundred for a helmet. The DOT standards are going to be way different on that four hundred dollar helmet versus the one that's down at the forty dollar range. So people get it and they say, "Hey man, oh it's got it's DOT approved." Yeah, well, so is your kid's fucking styrofoam helmet for his bicycle. It's about the same thing. Because you read in the directions and it says, if you drop this on the ground, then you have to get rid of the helmet and you're done because now it's broken. Well, what the fuck am I wearing it on my head for? Well, you got two different ratings. You got DOT approved and then you got the Schnell rating. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Schnell rating, I think that's how you say it, Schnell. Shell, Schnell, 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 Schnell. It's like a German. Google word. it. I don't fucking know what it is. Stone, <laughs> Schnell. We'll call it Schnell, so you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Right. That's on. a rating of, of how much impact that helmet can take and what damage you'll receive regarding how much impact. You know, blah blah blah. And then you got the DOT standard, which is pretty much, from what I understand, it's a uh, kind of like on the honor system. Like you tell like whatever governing body there is, like, oh, this is what it's rated for. Oh, okay, cool. Go ahead and slap that sticker on there if you want. Yeah. I heard a lot of these fucking Chinese helmets you get on fucking Amazon, they don't test shit. They just fucking, it's basically just plastic, styrofoam, felt liner, DOT approved, yeah. just send it. Let's well, see, test $15 a helmet, mm-hmm. roll of 1,000 st- stickers for helmet, mm-hmm. $50. Okay, we go $50, we get the roll of 1,000 stickers. I mean, they don't give a fine. They well, then, no, then, they then don't. You, then you look at it like, you, like if, if, like they turn Wisconsin and say they turn Wisconsin to a mandated helmet. Helmet fucking law, you know. Yeah. Now you're looking at, now you're just going to get a helmet. So, for me, I still like, I don't, I'm not huge on full face unless it's getting fucking 30 degrees out. Full I'll, face helmets work when it's fucking cold outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I know. Yeah, but I had to really, borrow yours a few times to yeah. go all the way up north. Yeah. But, but they... <laughs> but, they, they, there's no perception, though. I lose no. my, my perception. My so that's perception. the thing. I'm, I'd, I'd go with the half cut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go with just the fucking, the brain bucket. The, the brain top, bucket, you know? yep. 
just because I still want that I still want that wind. I still like that openness. I don't want to feel like I'm wearing something huge on my fucking head. I don't know. But is if it's raining, oh fuck yeah, I'm my full face all the way. Well, that's just it, man. A lot of the younger generation dudes, they're all about their helmets. They're all about full face helmets. They're all about safety. And I'm not gonna say it's a bad thing, but Man, if that's like it's it's all about freedom of choice. It's like this whole mask bullshit because of COVID nineteen, you know. Yeah. You know, everybody's fucking. You got to wear a mask. You got to fucking protect yourselves because this is apparently the construction going on outside. Yeah, outside. yeah. I know. Yeah. I just yeah. Heard yeah. That. I'm like, wow, I hear it better in these than I do in fucking. We're getting a new. We're getting a new street outside the clubhouse. Yeah. Fucking right on. Yeah, they ripped but, it um, up. <laughs> yeah, cuts down on motorcycle parking. But anyways, like. All these all these kids nowadays, you know, the twenty somethings, they're all about their full face helmets. They're all about all the gear. And yeah, older generation, older generation gives them a fucking hard time. But I don't. Know, maybe they're right. Maybe you should wear that shit. You know, well, my wife took fucking twelve stitches in the fucking head because she wasn't wearing a helmet. Staples. We went down. Look at staples. Yeah. yeah. Look at your brother Boomer. Yeah. 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 Boomer ate colossal oh, he, amount of shit. Yeah. Slid, yeah. slid across the pavement on his face. Yep. I mean. You know, I I look back to when, like helmets. Yeah, like I'm up and down with helmets. Like, mm-hmm. I get it. You, if you gotta wear one, you you gotta wear one. Choice is choice. But like, think back from last time I was on here and I was talking about my dad passing away and shit mm-hmm. like that. Helmet wouldn't have helped him. No, no. If uh, cause my mom was on the back of that bike. Um, before he hit the guardrail, he, he kind of, I guess, from what I heard, is he kind of like shoved my mom off the fucking back of the bike so she didn't hit the guardrail as well. Yeah. If she was wearing a helmet, any form of helmet, it would, she would have gotten a lot of worse damage than she had. I mean, she had road rash on, like, forehead to fucking chin. Yeah. Uh, Twelve fucking um, upper and lower inside of her mouth on her gums or her fucking lip uh, where her glasses were, you know, stitches across there. So... But if she had a helmet on, like, yeah, some of it could have been safe, but even the doc said that it she may have gotten worse yeah. off with a helmet on. Sometimes they save you, sometimes they don't. Depends on what kind of a follow-up you're getting yourself into. When, uh, when I lived out east, <clears throat> one of my neighbors, my, our kids played with each other, good friends. Uh, he and his wife, he was a former uh, one percenter, and... Uh, they were out, out on their out on their bike. He was he was no helmet. She was big time helmet. Guy T boned him. He went in and hit. She was launched up off the bike, up over and landed on her head on the helmet. And it was a you know full face the whole deal. And she was in a coma for three months. Three months. We had a big fundraiser for raised thousands of dollars for him. She came out of that coma. She didn't know her family. Mm. As soon as she recovered from that. She divorced him and left because she said she had no memories or anything mm. and pretty much just destroyed the family. I mean, and I, I wonder, would have been better, and I hate to say this, but would have been better if she didn't have a helmet on and land on her head and died and they at least had a decent memory of the family of all them together? Or destroying the family with, yeah, mom suddenly doesn't remember anymore and then she's gone? I don't know, man. Yeah. I'm going to get hate mail on that. I don't fucking care. I mean, I think, I'm I pretty think, close I, to the situation. I think we're all going to get hate mail. Regardless of whatever, because it's just like, like Dirty was saying, it's like the fucking mess now with the COVID shit. If you I'm know, not saying like, hate mail, I'm doing something wrong. It's well, that's a good point. Then we must be doing pretty good things, brother. <laughs> yeah. Because we get hate mail here on the Biker's Lifestyle, let me tell well, you. It, yeah. It's just like the mess, you know? Like, yeah, it's mandated, but, you know, so many people are up in the air about it. It's, you know what, in my opinion, Whatever. Yeah. Fucking wear you if you gotta wear it to go do something, you can fucking take it off as soon as you get out, out of fucking public places. I'm fucking quit your bitching and just fucking you know, like yeah. I mean I'll bitch. Like yeah. I'll still bitch about it, but I still do it. Like it it's because it's it's law. Just like if it they mandate helmets and mandate everything else, <laughs> you're still gonna fucking need to wear it to go do something that you love doing, like riding. Gopher summed it up best, man, when he said don't be a douchebag. You know? <laughs> when Wisconsin went mandatory mask statewide, I started wearing one. And here's why. Because I'm not going to get into a fucking constitutional fucking debate with a 16-year-old bag boy at the fucking grocery store. 
You know what I mean? I'm like, dude, I, all right, fine. Yeah, right, right. You know, I'm not going to fucking, this is my goddamn right. No, I'm just going to fucking, you know what, whatever, dude. You know, fine. Well, you know? sir, no, no, sir, you're supposed to wear that because the manager, the assistant manager yeah. told me you were. And I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to fucking go hardcore patriot yeah. fucking Braveheart on the guy. You know, I'm just going to, all right, fine. It, you know, It doesn't make any sense. If it makes you fucking feel better, if I can fucking walk around and buy my pork chops fucking without you <laughs> harassing me, then okay, fine. I'll wear your stupid fucking mask. Well, I just, I haven't gotten an answer to this question yet, is, and that's this. All right, so this disease is so deadly, but then we take the mask off, we just fucking throw it anywhere. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't they have, like, Hazardous receptacles starts to be put in this like a medical yeah. biohazard. I don't know when I was fucking in the hospital after my fucking accident, they didn't even give a shit if I wore a mask because they were like, nah, don't worry about it. You know, healthcare professionals like, nah, you'll be okay. But you know, apparently the fucking guy at the grocery store, it's fucking it's, it's a big deal if I don't walk in with a fucking mask on. Okay, cool, bro. I guess yeah. we're wearing masks now. It's a, it's just a, I don't fucking know. I, I, was, reading some, I was reading something uh, yesterday, actually. Mm -hmm. Laying there while fucking downpouring, watching movies, trying to fucking... Oh, yeah, tornadoes and shit. Yeah, you know, trying yeah. to fucking get rid Touching of a, down a, south a, of a this, nasty yeah. hangover. Yeah. Mm. And I uh, was reading something. It was about all the surgical masks and the, the, the three sets of masks that you can wear right now. Oh, yeah. So you got, like, your N95s. Worthless anybody us. Anybody in the medical field, anybody that's in, like, a contaminated area... Tell us it doesn't do anything. It stops shit from coming in, yeah. but if you're mm -hmm. exhaling, it's still fucking getting out there. Well, because the N95 masks have that valve, yeah, that little rubber valve that fucking not lets... All. But not all N95s do. They should. The one I just broke didn't have it. Yeah, I broke it. I then are you sure it was an N95? It's what it yes. said on the thing, on the, the little... I was, on a, fire, I was on a fire department, and I had to have an N95. Yeah? There's, there's a bunch of different manufacturers, there's whatever... And some have them, some don't. The N95 is just the rating, like the yeah. whatever. So then you get your disposable ones. Same concept. Mm. Stops in, but doesn't stop it from going out. Mm. And then there, and then I was, I got to the like the cloth part, mm -hmm. and it said the cloth mask. And then all of a sudden it was, you know, you fucking like, you take, you wear it, and you're doing whatever, which that don't fucking stop shit from going in or out anyway. Yeah. But you get mold spores in the fucking cloth. Yeah. You, know, you don't wash them. Like, you don't get home and you take, you don't take it off. You don't get home and you throw it in your laundry basket and you don't wash it right away. What do you do? You put it in your fucking pocket, leave it in your car, leave it hanging on your fucking rearview mirror. Mm -hmm. and Germs. And then you fucking away, pull yeah. it back off and you're, now you're breathing in fucking mold spores. It's like, come on. Yeah. Well, it's. Yeah. But, you know what? Fuck it. That's. I just buy a fucking box of disposables for fucking. Three bucks, and that's where I go. I just wear my half skull mask in and scare the fuck out of the people. I got a bandana. I look like I'm gonna rob a stagecoach every time I go to the fucking store. <laughs> it's hard not to just feel, get, you know, like you're gonna rob get, the place. Get dusters and fucking <laughs> cowboy hats and just roll in. There Might as go. well, you know. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> Ten dollars on pump three, partner. <laughs> they made the rules. My yeah. horse, my your, horse needs fuel. Your rules, man. <laughs> your rules. But I don't know. Either way, 2020 fucking sucks. Big it balls. It does. Big fucking hairy balls. I mean, it, it, it started off shitty, and as of right now, we're three quarters of the way fucking through this year, and I fucking hate every goddamn minute of it. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think is going to happen in November? I don't give a flying fuck. Think there's going to be fucking chaos? Yeah. A lot of people say there's going to be fucking riots in the street and the whole nine yards, depending upon, you know, no matter what. No matter what. No matter yeah. what, people are going to be pissed there's off gonna in November. There's going to be one, one side's going to be what's, rioting, man. What's, what's fucking, it's already that way. It's just now it's going to get worse. Yeah. Well, you saw what they did in Lake Shore Drive, man, on the, the Magnificent Mile yesterday in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah. Fucking crazy. They just destroyed the stores. I mean, you know. And it was like, what, some hundred some people fucking arrested. Yeah. And team yeah. Fucking cops well, were injured. And three and, people got shot and killed. And, and then and then I, I read today the, the mayor Lightfoot, the, the she looks like Beetlejuice. Yeah. She does. She looks like fucking Beetlejuice, it's man. Ugly fucking it woman. really is, man. Fucking it's butt ugly, ugly fucking, fucking woman. woman. I agree. And she's like blame she's blaming all the guns in Chicago and Wisconsin and Indiana and Michigan. Yep. Because apparently in Wisconsin um, there's no background check laws for buying a gun. There I'm is. Like, the fuck yeah. there is. I fucking every gun that every I own. Every gun that I own. That's right. Out. 
four fucking pages. I actually got turned down for one because I went, hold on, there's a glitch there, check it again. That's probably what's the main reason that's wrong with this whole fucking country is that every single fucking politician is trying to push the blame on someone else. There's no leadership. There's no fucking taking accountability. It's pushing the blame. Well, Chicago's got so much crime because fucking Illinois, or not Illinois, Indiana and fucking Wisconsin aren't as hardcore on gun control as we are, and that's where the guns are coming from, blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, it's our fault you have a high crime rate, right? It's our fault. I okay. I tell you what, Wait. all the gun owners with all our ammunition, if the gun owners with all the ammunition were really the fucking problem, they would know it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, once the silent majority fucking starts getting yeah. involved, that's when you're going to have a real fucking problem. Well, Hammer, what's your favorite fucking Harley-Davidson motorcycle? Thank you. <laughs> favorite Harley-Davidson motorcycle? Ooh. I don't know. I'd have to go with my 90 Evo. Yeah? Yeah. Oli it was on here a couple of podcasts ago. He was all about the Evos, too. I mean, that was the second order of the bike. Yeah. I had a little minor work done to it. You're torque monsters, it was an man. old. It was an older guy. I knew he didn't ride it like I did, but I, mm. I, I, I rode it hard. No, the, that Evo motor but begs it, to be ridden hard. <laughs> but I detonated that motor, and oh, don't say that. <laughs> but when it got ripped apart, like half of it was new and half of it was. They probably, and the part that blew. Where the pistons and the rings and everything, and that wasn't the part that was new. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, that, had, was, that hadn't had any work done to it. Well, what they probably did was they probably bypassed that, that vacuum operator electronic switch, the VOS, the OES. And when you do that, it doesn't advan it doesn't retard the spark the way it needs to on the power curve. Can't say retard anymore. Oh, okay. Well, it, it, <laughs> it, 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 re it retards it. Mentally and, handicaps it. Yeah, go and ahead. what it does is it causes pre-detonation. Yeah. So, well, yeah, I mean, so, but in all honesty, if I had a chance, yeah, I'd uh, I'd go back and rock the old '56 pan. Yeah, oh, I'd love to get a pan head. Um, I was searching forever for my dad's '56, and I still can't find it. I'm thinking right around a '64, '65 though, like the last year of the pans was '65, just because of a lot of the the interchangeability between a lot of the shovel stuff, you know, shovel head stuff, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. How about you? What about me? Your favorite Harley. My favorite Harley? Yeah, your favorite Harley. You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. No, fucking lie to me. I love it. Well, <laughs> sometimes I lie, sometimes I tell yeah, the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're going to tell the truth. I guess if I were to say what, what would I consider the best Harley Davidson, I would say first generation 88 twin cam. Because they made... Decent fucking power. You miss that bike, don't you? Well, my old Dyna? Oh, yeah. absolutely. But just in doing the fucking research, you know, and just, you know, as far as, like, owning, you know, a handful of fucking motorcycles and looking at, okay, which which year had the best? Because every year of motorcycle has, like, good, or, or every generation of motorcycle has good years, bad years. You know, like the Milwaukee 8s, when they first came out, they were breaking the rocker arm, uh, well, I think they were just breaking the fucking rocker arms, if I remember correctly. There was like a recall. I don't know. Google it. But there was a problem with the rocker arms, right? I don't know if it was a pedestal or whatever, but they were having a problem with the rocker arms. Um, the twin cams, they got that goofy-ass fucking uh, cam chain tensioner. Plastic tensioner. And, yeah, tensioner. And they yep. were fucking had problems. Well, and the compensators, too. They were having right. the compensators in the primary. But the reason why I say the early 88s is that I've been, I've been to a handful of fucking like uh, bike nights or whatever and had rolling dynos. And the 88s actually make more power and are more reliable than, say, the first generation of the 103s, you know? I would say 96 cubic inch fucking twin cams are actually really fucking nice, too. But I don't know. Oh, you know right. I've, never, I've never owned one. I, I, but, like, the 88, seem, they seem to figure out the twin cam after, like, I don't know, I think it was like right after the first year they started doing other upgrades to them. Mm. And I'm, I can't fucking speak to exactly what they did, but... Like, we'll take a look at Pops' old bike, right? Yeah. He had that 2003 Ultra Classic, had an 88. I think it was well over 150000 before he had to have the top end rebuild. Yeah. And it, you know, he obviously crashed the shit out of it. Over a quarter of a million miles still with a stock bottom end. And that motor still ran after yeah. he smacked it into the ground in yeah. Florida. Still ran. I mean, it was just yeah. the bike got totaled up because the frame got trashed. Yeah. But otherwise, that fucking bottom end 
you know, the fucking flywheel, you know, that whole area was fucking 200 and, God, what do you get, 280 some thousand fucking miles, wherever it was. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, it'd be that fucking early 88 twin cam. Just because they seem to fucking, I don't know, it seemed to work. Yeah. That's just my opinion. I mean, don't get me wrong, Evos are fucking rock solid, but. Yeah, I had 260,000. Yeah. On my 90. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Evos are fucking amazing. With only a cam being put into the motor wise. That's yeah, all that was, was done. That was it. Wow. When we Which cam? Up. Oh, I don't even know. Not too big, not too small, just right. It was a while ago when I ripped it out and got a new one. The popular one is that Andrews EV27, which is what I have in mind. But there's there's a couple other ones you can put in, but then you got to fuck with the jugs and do all sorts of shit to it. Yeah. As as I found out, as soon as you start fucking with the motor, (laughs) you're going to fuck with it even more. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Once you start, man. Once you start, shit. Yeah, once you start, the mighty wells kick in. Might as well do this. Might as well do that. Yep. And me, I'd say yep, if, yep, if that's exactly. Yep. Oh, blew the pistons. All right. Well, might as well hone it out. Might a while, while I'm in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, now it's going to be ten to one compression. Nope, oh, get forged pistons now. Might as well do the cam again. Get a bigger cam and. Yeah. Yep, might as well. You do might this. as well. You <laughs> might as well. Then you end up with a built the shit fucking motor that you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. What's your favorite upgrade on a motorcycle? Like, what's a half to? Like, if I said, I'm going to give you a bone stock motorcycle, you can do one thing to it, what's the first thing you do? The only thing. It's fuck bars. Handlebars, right? Handlebars. Handlebars. Fucking, hey, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people bitch and moan about it, but man, handlebars make the bike. The, yeah. Uh, make, make it your bike. Because I had people sit on mine. I got those 16s on there. Yep. For me, it's comfortable. My my hands are straight across from my shoulder. Yeah. Boom. Those that it's comfortable for me. I uh, sat on yours. Yeah. I liked how yours felt. Yeah. I've sat on other people that had 18s, and I liked how theirs. You know, and it's it's it, it's all about you, and it's how you want it. Some people hate them. Some people rather keep those stock like beach cruisers. Ah, the beach bars. They hurt my back. Man. But, yeah, for me, it's... Uh, you, you, wide and down like that. You just that. find yourself, when you're going down the road, you find yourself trying to relax a little bit. So then you're fucking hunching your back and you're kind of just slope down. With, with your, if you got high bars, yeah. you just drop your elbows and you're already comfortable. And you kind of just sit back and you just, just go. Yeah, I had that old uh, chopper-style uh, 81 Yamaha XS850 Special. Mm-hmm. And it had those bars that the old style chopper bars that came up and the buck horns, the buck horns, and you're <laughs> yeah. you're like you're like this on the grips and stuff. It was really really weird, it's but it was so it was awkward. It was awkward, but I tell you what, getting out there riding it, you're going around town. It's fucking sucks, but you get up on the on the highway and you cruise right along. It wasn't fatiguing at all, yeah. you know. But yeah, fucking bars, man. Bars are bars are my my first go to. Like when I got this new bike, my eleven Fat Bob. Yeah. I had an extra gram put into the onto my fucking loan for it, mm-hmm. just so I could, cause like we got all the paperwork and signed it and all. I went right up to the front counter, opened up their book, and I went, "Those, I'll take those, <laughs> those." Oh, you didn't go up to Bargain Barn in Edgerton and like, yeah, <laughs> root through the basement of the you know yeah. 300, <laughs> 300 sets they have down yeah. there. Grab the first set of handlebars that you think look cool. You yeah. you've been up to Bargain Barn, right? In the no, basement. you haven't been in the basement in the, down there. Never, never even been to Bargain there. Barn. Oh, yeah, never even been fuck. there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's just like a giant swap meet. They just have piles of parts, literal piles, literally, of parts, yeah. like I mean, boxes with just filled yeah. with brake pads. Yeah, just, yeah every, everybody. You want pads? Yeah, go ahead. And, you know, everybody tells me to go there, but fuck, I reach out to too many other people to fucking find parts. No. <laughs> It's well, half the time it's cheaper than going to any place like that. I have or never gone in right. there and found what I've been looking for, but I've never left without purchasing something. Yeah. How's that? You always yeah, find like, something else, you know. Yeah, it's like you go to the gas station, you only go there for fuel and next thing you know you walk out, you got like a fucking couple yeah. bottles of water, some soda, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, Oh <laughs> one of them, you know, I keep it in my pocket now, but it's that little friggin' piece that's about that big goes on your speedometer so you can reset your speedometer. Yeah. Well they fucking re rattle out of my bike all the time. And I couldn't keep them in there, so I can never reset the motherfucker. But I get up there in the biker barn, they had a box of ten of them. 
So of course I buy the box of ten. Man. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm down to seven now. You know, I lost three. But I've learned to keep them off the bike and keep them in my pocket. You know, so you know uh, yeah. that's that's a biker barn in Edgerton, Bergen Barn rather. What do you think is the best fucking bike for somebody to get for their first bike? Oh. Mine's a Kawasaki uh, ZX14. That's what I think. What do you think? <laughs> No, what, seriously. What, what is what, wrong with you? Did you I just say a <laughs> the He did. He did. No, yeah, no, he did. No, anybody in the world. No. You know, know Kawasaki. Dude, every, every That's fucking, like saying get get one of those 250 Buells. No, every time I fucking, you know, when people, you know, oh, it happens like once a fucking week on any biker page on fucking Facebook machine or something. What's what's a good bike for a beginner? And I just started being like ZX or ZX14. <laughs> ZX14. Yeah. Hi, Abusa. Why? <coughs> Jigs are 1,000. An, an, an 84 V Max. Yeah, 84 V Max. <laughs> I've got this custom Busa here that's stretched Oh, you want a cruiser? Twin yeah. turbos. And, all right. Rocket 3. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and give one of them. A Ducati. <laughs> the the H2s. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Get an H2. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you always hear it's, it's like the two go to bikes you always hear about, though. It's like the Ninja 250 and, a, and an 883, you know? Yeah. See, yeah. There's a reason me, that 883's Honda got. Rebel. Yeah, Honda Rebel. Honda oh, God, Rebel. Jesus. Yeah. For me, it's I look at the person that's asking me. Well, here's why I bring it up because we had that podcast with uh, with uh, Chel uh, Chelsea, yeah, and uh, I sort of may have said that soft tails were girls' bikes, you know. <laughs> and uh, I'm just curious, what would you, if you knew? Don't uh, fucking encourage him, Hammer. If you knew, don't do this, man. Some, let's say you meet a young lady and she's like, I want to get a motorcycle man. for the first time. What do you think would be the best bike for her to get? Like I said, I, besides the, the soft tail, <laughs> which is the obvious choice, Go depending ahead. on the size, yeah, of this of of this female, yeah, or average. We'll just say average, average. Like I said, it all depends on who's asked me. If like uh, average, average, chick. Average, av average chick, yeah. First, I ask what they what kind of bike they're looking to do, because most people ain't trying to get into like the cruiser lifestyle, you know, and trying to be out on the, you know, hashtag lazy wants, life. Everybody wants to be that, that rocket, that, yeah, that, import, yeah. that yeah. import style, because that's, yeah. that seems to be coming Metric, back around yeah. as well, which nothing to hate on. Cause I had a, I had a rocket, but everybody at some got to be dumb I keep at telling people point. ZX 14, just get one. But Fuck an it. average, average size female. Yeah. I'd tell them it, I'd tell them I'd go with like an 883 or a 1200 Sporty. I'd say probably a 1200. At least you get a couple seasons out of it. You yeah. Know? Um, 1200 only because then you can keep up. If you're trying to ride with a group, you can keep you can up keep with keep the group. Up. Yeah. Well, the thing of, yeah, the 883s, they don't wind out super high. No. You know, and I mean, if you, it depends on how long you plan on having it, really. I mean, if you yeah. just want something to learn on for a season, then who gives a flying fuck? Get whatever's comfortable for you. You know, sit out, throw your leg over. Yeah, if you if you plan on if if you're if you plan on keeping it for a while, like that's what I tell them too. I go, well, it depends. Are you trying to get rid of it next year, or are you going to keep it for a while? Yeah, yeah. Because if you're just learning, like like you said, if you're yeah. just learning, I tell you to go the lightest fucking bike possible. This way, then. Your balance and shit, and if if you do fucking come to a stop sign and and it falls over, you don't need twenty fucking people to try to lift it to help you lift it. Might as well get that Nighthawk five hundred then. Yeah, you know, a little Honda or something. Make that KZ or that uh that fucking Ninja two fifty or whatever it is or four hundred. That's, that's the other thing. Yeah. I asked if I go well. You want? Are you looking to go cheap or are you looking to go expensive? Yeah. I go because if you're looking to spend some money, then yeah, buy the Sportster or or a fucking a Dana. Dina. Go that route. Dina, yeah, Dana. Dina. Fuck, I don't. Even, I own one. I still fucking call it Dana. Dana, Dana life. <laughs> Dana, 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 Dana. Yeah. Fuck. But Dana. uh, and but if they're like, well, I don't want to spend, you know, over like, say a grand, two grand, then I go. Oh. Start looking for your fucking Hondas. Well, you know, that's just it, man. People want to fucking cheapskate out on their first fucking bike, you know, and it's like, well, you get what you fucking pay for regardless if it's your first bike or not. They're you great know? to learn on. Well, that's just it. Obviously, you don't want to go out and spend fucking 30 grand on your first fucking motorcycle because chances are you're going to put that fucker in the dirt at some point or some fucking point. Statistically, most riders go down within the first 18 months of them getting there. Yeah, statistically, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and 87% of statistics, yeah, statistics are but made up on the time, spot. If you spend, <laughs> if you spend a thousand dollars on a fucking motorcycle, it's probably going to be a haggard piece of shit, you know, and then you got to <laughs> overcome all the piece of shitness of your fucking motorcycle while you're trying to learn how to ride fucking motorcycles, yeah, you know, probably oh, I got to give it a little bit more gas because it's a little fucked up when I come to a fucking stop sign, but, and you're trying to learn how to ride at the same time. Good luck with that. I did it. It sucks, but whatever. Yeah. All right. Let's fucking get on a different topic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just been one of the fucking years, man. We were going to do this podcast, and it's like, man, the world seems to be falling apart. And it's like trying to not have a Debbie Downer fucking podcast, you know? Yeah. You know, it's like, man, fucking, you lose a fucking dude. You get into a wreck. You got another guy clinging on to life, getting fucking brain surgery. It's like, fuck 2020, man. Oh, by the way, there's this pandemic. I got to wear a face mask when I'm in public. And, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Murder by hornets. The way, <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, the economy's crashing. Don't worry about it, though, because there's murder hornets. Yeah. Fuck. And, oh, by the way, there might be UFOs. Just so you oh, know. Oh, and then all the road construction. <laughs> and then you got yeah. all the road construction fucking everywhere. Yeah, road yeah. construction yeah. all over the fucking place. And then people trying to run bikers off the road. Yeah. And appa are, apparently yeah. we're racist because we're white and on Harleys. Yeah. So, I, mean, I don't know, man. You know, yeah, every, every fucking, I don't know, man. You get all these fucking self-entitled fucking people, you know. They're, oh, man, fuck those other guys. I'm right and they're wrong. Fuck you. You don't know shit about shit. And the, and the universe doesn't give one fuck about you. Yep. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a flying fuck what your race or religion does or your sexual orientation does. I don't give a flying fuck. So I'm not your enemy, so don't make me yours. Because you wouldn't like the fucking outcome. By the way, Dirty Fits, by the way. Oh, yeah. Dirty Fits, the unofficial official. Oh, I fucked up oh. the thing. The unofficial official sponsor of the Biker's Lifestyle The very podcast. first. The very first. That's right. And the only. Dirty Fits. You want to talk about them? You want to talk about Dirty Fits? And Actually, yeah, let's talk about them. Yeah, go ahead. So, it's, uh, like I said last time, it's my cousin's company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, he from the... Absolutely love the fact that we shouted out to him the last podcast I was on. Yeah. Um, I'm talking to him, trying to persuade him on uh, actually coming in and sitting in on us this is one of these days. Yeah. And he's all about it. Well, fuck yeah, man. Like we'll get said, him in here. Custom. Hell yeah. Custom. Fits. Custom everything. Nothing's ever. You like it because it's got your name in it. <laughs> nothing, nothing's ever. It, it, it's whatever you want, really. The only cookie cutter kind of thing is you tell them you want a standard Dirty Fits hat, that's what you get. Comes Dirty Fit on there, and then it's stamped on the side. Right yep. on, man. But other than that, like say you wanted to get something for your club wise, that's allowed through, you know, he'll stamp it on there. No shit. I actually am going to be talking to him about uh, getting a couple shirts made up for legit biker lifestyle podcast well, oh shit that that yeah, color yellow is our club color by the way it's, it's gold is it gold it's i thought gold. it was dirty yellow dirty gold dirty gold okay dirty but i've seen it that's, dirty yeah, that's dirty the technical gold. color dirty know? gold coming from dirty fits worn by dirty dirty wow <laughs> fucking a folks man hey i, I we all right, thanks a lot layers, for tuning in to the layers. Podcast. It, is, it yeah. is dirty gold by the way <laughs> okay hey i'm not gonna hurt I'm just you. saying are you 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 Googleized it or something? I don't Go know. Ahead. Well, I didn't Google. I was well, I was told that. But anyways, but yeah, yeah he's he's local. He's uh, lives in my hometown, which is twenty minutes away. So, like does I he said, have a website? He does. Not a website. You can find him on Facebook. Find him on that Facebook, huh? Dirty fits custom gear. Dirty, Dirty fits custom gear. Dirty fits custom gear. All right, we'll have to make sure we put a link. We'll put, some we'll put shit. a link in the description and all that shit, and we'll put it up on the Facebook machine. There. Well, it's 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 right good on. to help out fucking guys, you know. I mean, yeah, dude, trying to get started, trying to yep. start apparel. Fuck he, yeah, man. He uh, he works full time at a normal place at night, so um, he pretty much stamps everything during the day, right before he goes to work. Like in in a pinch, like. Uh, going into the last you guys' last club run, the strip poker run. Yeah. Uh, I reminded him the week before, the weekend before. He said, "Yeah, that's that's I can I'll knock those hats out." We forgot all about it. Yeah. I reminded him Thursday, and he's like, "Shit, that's right." That would have been goes, a perfect Fuck. opportunity, he goes, man. I, he's like, as soon as I get home from work, he's yeah. like, "I'm punching them out." He goes, "How many you need?" I go, "At least like three, four. 
He goes, done. He got a hold of me like five o'clock Friday night, and he goes, "Hey, meet me in about two hours. I got I'm punching the hats right now." When he gave me those hats, they were literally warm still. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm all about helping out the small dude, you know. I mean, yeah. fuck Walmart, fuck all these corporations, man. Yeah. We got to help out each other, you know. I don't know if he rides motorcycles; doesn't fucking really matter to me. But you know, he's a small entrepreneur trying to make it. Fuck it, I'll support him. Yep, you know? does hats, does shirts. Um, actually, he drive punch on whatever you want like i said he does custom stuff he's got a bunch of stuff that he's made up like uh with like jason and freddie and oh yeah, uh, yeah. Nice. We, we've got to get something to say i hate the biker's lifestyle podcast yeah so there's more people done. that hate us than like us they're yeah. done definitely <laughs> by, by the I, mail I, yeah I'll, I'll fucking have them stand i'll, I'll send them i'll let them know and to all our haters thank you for watching we really appreciate it you know, any publicity is good. Publicity. Any publicity is good publicity. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So, what's your favorite tire to put on a motorcycle? Oh God! Well, might as well ask what oil he puts in his. That's bucket. the next question. Oh, okay, okay. That's that's the next my question. favorite tire. Yeah, what's your favorite tire? <laughs> a new one. A new one. <laughs> fucking a. One, yeah, one that gives me traction and holds yeah. me to the fucking road. God either damn. way, either way, it. Everybody preaches about fucking every kind of fucking tire. Anything that you put on, and it's like you're fucking hardcore about it. Like you know if you don't like it, then it, you're fucked up. It's brand new. If it's not a Michelin Commander Two. I only want to talk to you, motherfucker. But it only costs like <laughs> hundred bucks. I paid four hundred bucks oh, for a my. Oh, You know what? Fuck! I don't give a shit. <laughs> or a Kenda. A Kenda tire. Yeah. yeah. If you know it what? lasts oh. me only a fucking season, guess what? I'm putting a motherfucker on my bike because I, then I can change it out in winter. I'll tell yeah. you what. I got the most miles out of a Shinko. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I've got the most miles out of a Shinko. I've, I've never had a Shinko. I've only had it once, and I said I rode the I'll, shit out of that I bring, thing. I bring, if if my bike needs a tire, front, back, what the fuck ever, I bring it into the shop, and I say, put a tire on. Yeah. Yeah, but if you... Whoa, what about... I go, I don't fucking... Just give me a fucking decent price tire. Just give me a fucking tire, dude. Yeah. I just... I, I need a tire. I don't care if it lasts me fucking a season. I mean, I've run Commanders. I've run Excedras. Dunlops, Shinko, no. uh, I've run Metzler 88s, I've run uh, Pirelli's. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're all different. I'm not taking it to the drag strip, so I don't fucking care. Right. Like my car? Oh, my fucking car? No. <laughs> but nope, dude, my car is fucking... Give me the most expensive j tires you can. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, you got to ask them, too. Okay, what, tire, what kind of tire do you want? How do you ride? Well, I don't know. Well, then get the fuck away from me. How do you ride? I ride like a fucking... I ride like a biker, like fuck. Everybody yeah. I know, yeah, rides that way. But yeah. <laughs> there, oh well, how was that? Well, fuck. Uh, Balls to the wall, like I stole in it. the rain and <laughs> the snow. Fucking anywhere from thirty miles an hour to a hundred and fucking five miles an hour. Yeah. Like you, I, I don't know. Fucking, that's how I ride. If you want to blow up the conversation when you get those in those, go in there and talk about the dark side. The dark side. That's you want to talk about a car tire? Car tire. That's Jesus right. Fuck. <laughs> and all the arguments. Go ahead. Let me, let me hear. It. Why, why shouldn't we run a t car tire? on Because it's designed for a fucking car and not a motorcycle, so it's not going to be who as sticky. Fucking car tires on their bikes. Oh, you know who does? A lot of guys. Goldwing guys. Goldwing guys <laughs> run a fucking car tire. Ooh, they last forever. You're retarded. Shut up. Goldwingers. And I just want to go on record. Dirty and I, we don't hate Hondas. No. We hate Gold Wings. I don't even hate Gold Wings. I just think they're goofy fuckers. I, I hate them. I, I've ridden one. I owned one, for Christ's sake. I bought it for another friend. You know. I mean, you owned a Gold Wing? Oh, I, you I, owned a Gold Wing? I bought, I, I bought a Gold Wing for a friend. A he bought a Gold Wing. He, he, a gold he was wing. going through a divorce. Oh, here we go. Now the excuses come out. No, I'm just telling you. He was going through a divorce. It wasn't my fault. It, titled, it was titled in my name. I was just trying to help a brother out. He didn't have the cash. He paid me back, but I bought the fucking bike for him. You know, he liked it. I thought it was a piece of shit. You know, let's it's a safe on. place. It's a safe I like, place. I like that Honda Gold Wing you guys posted on the 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 one with the canopy. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know how fragile they are. They don't want to get any wet. <clears throat> you know, the funny thing is, is we'll we'll post stuff on Gold Wings on there, and then you you'll get these guys posting like pictures of their their Honda Rune or their Honda VTX, and I'm like, yeah, those are nice bikes. I fucking hate Gold Wings. Like, I didn't say Honda was bad. I said fucking Goldwings were bad. Honestly, the bike's not even that bad. I mean, you know, whatever it is, what it is. But it's the people that ride fucking Goldwings that are just, ugh. You know, it's yeah. like, God damn it, just fuck you. 
you know, you're not, I mean, you got a pocket protector, you got a fucking helmet so you can talk to your wife while you guys are going down the fucking, I mean, wearing geez, your matching outfits. It sounds like a fucking George Jetson fucking spaceship. Uh, down the fucking road. It's not even a gas. You don't even. It's not even a gas tank under the thing. It looks like a gas tank. No. We're, uh, I was we're up at Hammonds one time and uh, uh, Go Wing pulled up old eighties style Go Wing. Oh yeah, he had a Harley T shirt on. I was like, <laughs> oh, I know, yeah, I know that guy. <laughs> yeah, I like, know. Are I, you fucking kidding me right now? Yeah, yeah. Like, are, are you, did you get lost going to the fucking Harley dealership? Like, they didn't have any Gold Wing shirts when you were <laughs> shopping for shirts. <laughs> oh. It, <laughs> There's a whole gold. They probably have gold wing underwear. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> wing dingers. Yeah. yeah. No shit, man. What's your favorite oil? The kind that makes the fucking helps the motor out. There you go. I would have to say. <laughs> new oil? Yeah. Used oil I won't I, put in. Yeah. They have I like used oil. New oil. New like oil. Problematic. Yeah. yeah. Fucking <laughs> Gotta hate that shit. What's everybody running for oil? Fucking, do you know how many fucking different factories there are for oil? Not that many. Yeah. <laughs> That's very true. It's I mean, true. don't get me wrong. Like, I'm made out of dinosaurs, people. Synthetic <laughs> oil is awesome. Okay, anybody that says, oh, you don't need synthetic, motherfucker, synthetic fucking works. Tell you what, it's, again, wherever I go, whatever oil they're carrying. And whatever they recommend. Yep. You know, I mean. I mean, a lot of people will say Amsoil is the way to go, but. <sighs> I'll yeah. use it if I if I say I go to a shop to pick it up, and that's all they carry. Guess what? I'm buying Amsoil. I'm thinking about yeah. going to sixty weight for the Evo because you know you don't really change the oil in an Evo. You just sort of keep filling it and change the filter. You just add oil because yeah. you, know, you sort of add it and change it's the got filter. That every self changing feature. Self changing <laughs> feature. That's right. About every thousand miles, and then you know half a quart gone. You know. Where did it go? You know, into the atmosphere. Total <laughs> loss oil system. Yeah, yep. well, you know. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I got to change my oil this coming winter. I got to change half my motorcycle. I put, I yeah, put, you uh, sure do. <laughs> <laughs> I broke it. In the two years I had this yeah. bike, this is Motor the, still runs. This yeah. is the first season where I put, because um, I bought it at the end of last summer. Yeah. Put about 1,000 miles on it last, last season. Yeah. I'm at about... 2,500 miles this this season, which some people are like, oh, that ain't a whole lot. I go, yeah. When you're riding every other week and every other yeah. weekend, yeah, that, that's a lot of miles because, like I said, I got I got my kids every other week. There's a lot of so factors involved on that oil wear too. Yeah, you know? I mean, oh yeah, riding riding with the people that we ride with, it, it's kind of you're either hammering <laughs> down or you're just cruising a couple blocks yeah we uh we will hear it from people uh we had the, the ride for zach olson yeah, yeah. and uh, some people like man you guys really ride really really fast and i'm like motherfucker we're slowed down for this ride <laughs> well it's like the strip over run we're doing 500 to speed limit yeah for the most yep. part yeah. for the most part that for all like the yo yo like you don't get that, that slingshot and all the the as you could say weekend riders yeah in the group you know which you know we I don't we don't have a problem with the weekend riders. It's just those are the people that if they're really tying up the pack and they're, you don't want to go over fifty five, ride way behind us. Try you know just sort of catch up and keep yeah, the pack ride down. in the fucking middle. But, but you know ride in the middle. Don't don't go there, please. No, don't ride in the middle. If you can't keep up, then don't, ride ride in the back. And yeah, don't in the ride back. in the fucking middle. Don't ride that's in the when middle. you get like a group of fucking twenty and then three second fucking window and then fucking there's the rest of the fucking pack because there's some fucking asshole that wants to go five miles less or five miles less an hour than the rest of the fucking and, well I'm not used to riding in a group. You know what riding in a group and riding by yourself is like? There's just more people around you. Yeah. That's well, it. Oh yeah. Just just do what everybody else does. And we're well, going down the fucking road. It's not exactly like we're fucking on a racetrack. And if you're in a pack of a hundred bikes and nobody's stopping at the stop sign because we blocked up so you can go through the intersection, don't stop. Don't fucking stop at the stop sign. <laughs> Please. Nope. We're breaking rules today. Fuck you, man. Yeah, Give that's why that's why the blockers <laughs> go. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Yep. I mean, I gotta give Snowflake a lot of credit, you know. I mean, that motherfucker sat out there in eighty one. Traffic coming on as we're trying to taking a turn off eleven onto eighty one for the Zach's ride. And he like stops the bike and then he's waving his arms frantically trying to get the semi that's coming at him to go, Hey motherfucker, I'm here. Please slow down and don't run me over a yeah. hundred miles, I mean hundred yards up from my house where my wife is and kids. Yeah. You know, I well, mean shit. If only the local uh 
law enforcement would help us out with that type of shit. But, you know, Public service announcements you know, and uh, law yeah. enforcement maybe helping yeah. us out. But they're too you know, busy. We're on one ride. I was on one ride this year, that Corona Palooza ride. Oh, okay. That uh, another local club here was doing for the ride part of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, they actually had, when we were going through Beloit, they actually had Beloit PD. The Beloit oh, PD is good. pretty cool. Beloit PD dudes. was, there. Yeah. they blocked um, every road for nice. us. Like, we didn't have to worry about stopping and blocking yeah. through there. Because they, they had all the, I mean, we're a half mile, mile away from one of the roads, and they're already blocking it. Our local, Lights, all that, and just going. Our local PD isn't the biggest fan of us, mm -hmm. for whatever fucking reason. No, yeah, no. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, well, they probably think we're, you know... Well, I mean, how many crimes did you pull coming over here, Hammer, today? Did you, you know, did you rob that place we talked about last night, you know? <laughs> you know, I mean, come on, right? I had my mask on and everything. You know, yeah. I figured, you know I'm here. Might as well just rob this gas station real quick. <laughs> well, Fuck. defund the police, wear a mask into a bank. I mean, what the hell? Yeah. What's yeah. going on? What really is going on right now? Yeah. The only law I broke today was pulling in here and going, road closed. Nope, still came in. <laughs> All right. So, uh, old school spoked wheel or mag wheel? That it depends. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love how spokes go, but the way of spoke. But I don't know if I want to fucking run a, a tube. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I'm a, all about. I'm, I, I would love to get a, a waste, spoke wheel. A lace spoke wheel looks cool. Yeah, especially get the diamond cut fat spoke. Whatever yeah. they yeah. look cool. Pain in the ass to clean. I'm be honest with you. I am all about mag rims. Yeah, I am all about like the Vetter style. Old school fucking rim. If I ever yeah, I had still, like an old school chop, I'd go with a better. I, I mean, still got that solid wheel, the stock solid wheel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know the solid wheels. Uh, no, I want to yeah. change that out. Don't get yeah. me wrong. But everybody's like, oh, you're going to get front and back. No, I'm not going to get front and back because I got bags on the back that fucking block my wheel as it is. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm only, I'm not paying fucking five grand for a set of fucking wheels that you can only see the one. So I'm just going to. Buy a front wheel. I'm mm -hmm. all about fucking mag rims, though. Well, I love mag rims. Yeah, I mean, I like the looks of them. They, well, they, I mean, it's not even just looks, just reliability wise. You know, mag rims will usually take more of a hit than a fucking spoke rim. You know, yeah. spokes bend a hell of a lot easier than a mag. Yeah, keep, you gotta fucking keep them tight. I mean, I did. Spokes I fucking, also I raced B, yeah. I did everything with fuck. I raced BMX. I had fucking motocross. Like, I fuck that. I am not dealing with fucking spokes. You get them out of whack and try to fucking turn it out and straighten it out, and it's just, it's like fucking whatever. Yeah, running a tube, I and mean. Then you, yeah, then then you get fucking something stuck in there, and then you got to fucking buy a tube. Oh. Yeah. Make sure that's all fucking, like, no, I fucking just throw a patch on a fucking You ever tire. had to balance one or tune one with a little wrench and stuff on the on the yeah. little wheel? I'm a pet so My moto, I'm a, I'm a fucking dirt bike. It's yeah. the same, it's the same yeah, principle. Fucking, yeah, it's fucking stupid, because you it's, tighten one side. And then the other side fucking tweaks out, and then you got to go through it's, the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you lose your spot, and then you're like, God damn it, no, this fucking sucks. And then fucking three months later, you're still fucking can't get it right. I uh, I used to do mountain biking when I was younger and build my own mountain bikes and shit. And, yeah, there was a local bike shop because I used to I, – I made my own truing wheel and everything. Yeah. I would true those. And, hell, he, he paid, me, paid me money to come in and do it because he didn't want to do it, you know, and yeah. I, had, I had a gift, you know. Just to be able to get them tuned in, but fuck. big wheel or stock wheel? Oh, fucking yeah! Fuck big wheels. <laughs> fuck big wheel bikes. Look like a goddamn fucking clown shoe going down the fucking pizza fucking cutter, old, man. The old school big wheels, man. That's what it looks old like. Old school big wheels, yeah. Like the little kid big wheel, big wheels. fucking yeah, pizza yeah, cutter. Yeah. Like I can't do fuck, that. Uh, All right, how about low profile rims? Well, it depends on what you consider low profile. A true low profile. Well, all right. I mean, we're well, talking like, about an inch and a half of tread tread wall. You know, well, that's so normally about, you get that you get that with like your spoke and your big wheel. Or you can get that with like just a fucking like a, the enforcer uh, rims that they were putting on street glides. You got a low profile wheel, nineteen inch rim. Um, the thing of it is, is that low profile tires. I mean, performance wise, I mean they're right fucking there. You know, you don't get any sidewall bend and whatever. However, mm -hmm. I know from personal experience, if you actually, you know, hit a curb with one of them, it's going to bend your fucking wheel because you don't got enough rubber there to cushion that blow. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah. No, okay. That's me all I know. <laughs> radial or bias? Radial. Fucking radial. All the way. All the way. 
I mean, there's a reason why bias plies got fucking replaced for radials. Radials are just way better. Yeah. That's, yeah. Well, then you get some idiot who's got a <coughs> bias tire on the front and a radio on the back, and he doesn't wonder why, he wonders why his bike doesn't handle right. Yeah. It's like, it's because you're a fucking idiot. I mean, if you want to be <laughs> retro, you want to have a pan head and a fucking rigid, cool, man. But when you start fucking start going with bias flies and old brake pads, no, dude, you're just risking your fucking life, man. Yeah. Fuck that shit, dude. Fucking put a decent tire on there. Put a decent fucking brake pad in there. I mean, yeah. Uh, how, how, how many guys out there, brother, do you think just get on their bike and ride? Just, you know, oh, well, you know, it's fine at the beginning of the season. They don't check their fucking tire pressure. Yeah, they got to do that They don't check shit, their man. fluids. Or, you got you to gotta go uh, through your bike. I ain't going to lie. I didn't do that right away when I jumped on this. When's the last season? time no. you did it, though? Uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty aware of it before right now. Big, big rides before I go over right, anywhere. Right. Well, like, he's talking about those yups that put like fucking four or five hundred miles on a year, and they check their tire pressure maybe once a year. Yeah, in the middle of winter because they want to. Oh, I'm gonna double check. Yeah, but it's still yeah. good. Yeah, in the then, in the yeah. winter. Yeah, check it in the winter. That makes yeah. loads of sense. Oh, it's still good. Yeah, it's still yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, because I checked my oil. I checked my I, oil I, cold. I mean, it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I take the plastic off my fucking leather jacket, and I can go out and ride with the missus to the ice cream shop. <laughs> That's a block away. <sighs> yeah, and I'm going to go on Facebook and start calling some kid with a crotch rocket that he's a dumbass and not a real biker, because I am. <laughs> I uh, I would imagine. Look at my Pomeranian. It's my fucking profile picture. The guy with the Harley hat, the Harley t-shirt, the yeah. Harley sweatshirt, the Harley jackets, the, yeah. the Harley... The Harley pants, the Harley chaps, the Harley boots, Harley watch, Harley gloves, the yeah. Harley sticker on his SUV, so yeah. you know when he's going down the road in his cage that he also owns a Harley Davidson motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. so you know what you're dealing with. One hardcore badass, kind of like, kind of <laughs> like the guys that wear camouflage and their blaze orange going into like Gander Mountain and oh, everything. Yeah. You know, I got my mossy oak fucking boots on. You know, yeah. Well, middle of summer, I'm gonna go to Gander to go grab fish and stuff and. Yeah, head to toe camouflage. Uh, yeah, yeah. My older brother giving me shit. Well, oh, it's your, you you wear biker clothes all the time. It's your biker, and I was like, no, this is how I dress. Yeah, like, I've been dressing this way for fucking years, man. I'm like, look at you. I said, are you a professional golfer? You got a golf shirt on. You got golf pants. Are you a professional golfer? Well, no, that's different. How is it fucking different, motherfucker? I own three Harley shirts, and they're given to me. I owned one, and it was given to me. <laughs> I have a hat that I bought years ago. That Those are the two items of clothing that I have that have Harley on it. Other than that, you know, my shirt, you know. Yeah, I don't own any fucking Harley No, shirt. no. It's because I'm broke. But. Mine's a dirty fit. <laughs> well, dirty fits. Dirty, dirty fits. fits t-shirt on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dirty fits. This side of my line. Oh, 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 right there, see? Dirty fits. <laughs> I, I know. I, I like the uh, suicide clutch. Uh, stuff, the uh, company out of Peoria that makes the biker stuff, they got some pretty cool t-shirts. Yeah. Well, there's cool fucking yeah. shit out there. Oh, I the mean, sick I, yeah. boy stuff is pretty cool, you know. There's yeah. a lot of good sh shit out there. You don't have to buy it and have, have fucking Harley on it. Well, say. you know, they want to have their well, fucking, they want to be recognized in the public. They want to spend that $60 on a t-shirt. They're well, they gotta Nazis. They got to be recognized. You can't even put the logo out there on anything without them fucking getting involved. What are they? T-shirts oh, yeah. are like, so your average t-shirt, like this. Yeah. The Dirty Fits t shirt, 15, 20 bucks. Okay. What a bargain. And put an HD logo on it, it's fucking $15 more. Yeah. You go like any other shirt, anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Um, you go and you're supporting local clubs, they run $20 yeah. a shirt. Yeah. You go to Harley and you go to buy a Harley shirt, guess what? Now you're paying. 35 40 to 60 dollars for a tee. Well, I mean, there's motherfuckers right now in Sturgis spending fucking 60 70 fucking dollars oh, on fucking t shirts and with a shirt that just says Harley Davidson Sturgis. Yeah, yeah. 20 dollars yeah, no, a no beer shit. and yada yada yada. It's Speaking like, of that, I heard that the fucking the fucking tool bags that protest want to go stomp through fucking Sturgis. Oh, they won't too. go anywhere near Sturgis. They yeah, they're that. just fucking blowing smoke. That's That'd be the stupidest thing they could do. It, yeah, I'd love to see all, it on film. <laughs> yeah, first of all, you ain't stopping shit. Second of all, I mean, all them fuck. I mean, they're not organized. You know, they're fucking assholes that live in the fucking... We're going to go fucking loot and fucking protest and blah, blah, blah. They ain't fucking taking a road trip to South fucking Dakota <laughs> to stir up shit with bikers. Fuck no. When there's like thousands. the last group of people that want to fucking stir up. there. 
Well, it's just like PETA never fucking protested a fucking motorcycle club for wearing leather. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they ain't never done that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they'll just throw paint on some rich lady's fur coat, you know. Although we did, we did have one of them fucking snowflakes uh, make mention about me, though, the one time. Yeah. I was wearing my cut in one of the podcasts, and they said it looked like I had a, wearing leather, and I was we- I, I eating too many cheeseburgers. Yeah. Huh. So, fuck you. Guess yeah, I love cheeseburgers. Fucking, next time I wear leather. This podcast, I'm going to fucking bring us in. We're going to get some steaks. We'll just fucking eat steaks fuck on the no, next podcast. Now I want a steak. No, I'm hungry. <laughs> now I want a fucking steak. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. All right, final thoughts. Amber, what do you got? What do you want to say? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I really don't. Yeah, me neither. We're all kind of going on fucking overdrive right now, emotionally, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Don't be a cunt. Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's good. <laughs> How about this? Leave fucking bikers alone. No shit. That's the first thing. We want to be left alone. Leave us alone. Yeah. I'll say this. You know, there's fucking all this bullshit going on in the fucking world, and everybody's fucking spun up and fucking stressed out. And they're mad about whatever fucking social injustice that they happen to be mad about that particular fucking day, whether it's cops or people kneeling at during a national fucking anthem or, you know, some Black Lives Matter fucking protest that's happening. Everybody's spun up. Yeah. And none of it fucking really matters. At the end of the day, none of it really fucking matters. Your family, your, your, your brothers, whatever, you know, whoever you consider fucking close to you, they fucking matter. <coughs> um, everything gets put in perspective when shit happens to you. <coughs> well, look how quickly things were handled and taken care of with your guys' accident. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, the club was there. You yeah. guys were in the bosom of the club within fucking like thirty seconds, and you know, yep. now suddenly, you know, you, they were taken care of. The family took care of themselves. Yeah. You know, you know, when when I was in that fucking hospital room and the wife was in her hospital room and. Whatever. I mean, the last thing on my mind was, I wonder what Black Lives Matter is doing. Right now. <laughs> you know? I hope there's not a fucking NBA game happening where they're kneeling during the national anthem. I could give a fuck less about any of that bullshit. Yeah. You give know? it up to the NHL low hockey. Yeah. They're the only ones that literally have it stated that if anybody kneels, they're done. There's a certain demographic that watches hockey, though. That Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I hear you. Fuck it, man. I mean, none of it fucking matters. All this bullshit that you see on social media that you're fucking getting all worked up about, none of it fucking matters. It's all a distraction. Yep. It's all it is. Take care of yourself, take care of your fucking family, and the rest of it will all fall into place. Yeah. That's my final thought. Support our children. Yeah. Support your fucking, support yourself, man. Isn't that the left argument, though? We got to think about the kids. Well, of course, unless you want an abortion, then, you know, yeah. fuck the kids, you know. But Yeah, we got to think about the kids. <sighs> Whatever. It's more or less everything else that's going on in the world right now with, with all the kids. So about, I'll leave that one there for the next time. I think fucking. You're talking people. about, uh, what's he, Ped- Pedowood? Yeah. <laughs> it's not Hollywood. Oh, you want to talk about pedophilia? Yeah. Well, we can wait on that one because I have a feeling that's going to be in the, in the books for. A little while, yeah. I think that's the, the crux and the reason behind all this shit going on. Provided a big distraction while they can try to make it all go away. Meanwhile, Tom Hanks just became a citizen of Greece, which is sympathetic to pedophiles. <coughs> well, you know, all that shit will be sorted out in the end. You know, one you, can't run, you can't run and hide for fucking ever, man. <laughs> December, everything will be forgot about. There'll November, be no fucking, yeah. There'll be just a fucking... Yeah, November 6th. <laughs> There'll yeah. be a war of some sort, but everything else will be forgot about. When the dust settles, we'll still be here. Yep. Riding motorcycles, drinking beer, doing stupid fucking podcasts that annoy people. Yep. I don't give a shit. That's, I think, the reason why we do it at this point in time, isn't yeah. it? Just to annoy people? Just, Just to yeah. annoy people. Right, Just so fuck people yeah. can fucking point to somebody and say, that's the bad guy. That's all Scarface for We're you. right here. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> all right. Yeah, man. Fuck, man. I've been a bad guy for a good portion of my life, so... Although I'm a really good person, but, you know, labels are labels, I guess. Yeah. I think it's time for stir-fry. Stir-fry? I yeah. thought you were going to get steak. Well, I'm going to get steak at my stir-fry. Ah. Eat at Joe's. You ever seen that fucking mobile truck running around Janesville? No. Eat at Joe's? Yeah, it's got, like, hibachi. 
and it's like a truck, like a food truck, kind of oh, like yeah. a taco truck, but it's hibachi. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was he was at uh, yeah he was at the Zach Olson at thing. the Zach Olson thing. Yeah, that's right. right. For a taco truck. I go for a taco truck. No, it's well. We'll get off to this fucking food. We'll stop this bullshit and we'll look at where that fucking taco truck is at online. Get some fucking tacos or something. Fucking right on. Some fucking good tacos, yeah. It's, it's dinner time. Yeah, I think it's come to that. So, uh, Hammer, man, it's always a pleasure to have you. I'm uh, not going to call you a guest anymore. You're just going to be a sit, <laughs> a sit in, you know, guest co- host. Co host. Co host. Works for me. And, you know, there you go. Fuck, you know, and everybody else can go fuck themselves. If you got hate mail, send it to us. If you hate the biker's lifestyle, hey, yeah, more comment power below to you. how much we suck. Yeah, if you like us, <laughs> yeah. cool. You know, we, yeah. you know, we're just doing this to piss people off anyway. Yep. Anyway. yep. Next, uh, next time I come in, I'll, uh, Talk my cousin into coming in too. Fuck yeah, man! Get him Fuck in here. Yeah. Dirty Fuck fits. yeah! Dirty that fits. Sounds good. Dirty fits in. Oh yeah! Right on! Right on! Well, I guess we're gonna sign off and uh, say, "Hey, everybody! We've said it before. We're gonna say it again. We're gonna fucking beat into your heads. Keep in mind the most dangerous fucking part on your motorcycle is the nut that connects the seat to the handlebars." Later. Yep. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> Hail Satan! Hail Satan!